We're doubled up. I got fish on both of them. Holy crap. Come on, get up. Oh, that is a freaking slab too. Nice pompano. All right, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Bearded Brad. We're out here on the beach today. This is the last weekend of the pomp stomp. So we got one goal and one goal only, and that is to see if we can find a big pompano. I'm fishing a beach out here that I've not even fished yet this spring. I've been staying a little further east, but there's been some big fish caught over this way. I need to try something new, so I figured we'd just jump over here and try this beach out. As you can see, it is pretty flat out there today, which is not inducive for big pompano, but hopefully we can get on something good. I have been able to get out there and get some ghost shrimp. When it's this flat, it's easy to go find those shrimp. So hopefully that'll help us find the big fish. But just got set up a few minutes ago. Hopefully we can get on something. Hope you all enjoy this ride. Let's go. All right, guys. Go ahead and get this first setup out. First up. We got the pink and white Salty's Pompano rig. Got the white float, pink hook, a little bit of green fish gum. As you can tell, it is super flat out here this morning. So no Sputniks, I just got a three ounce pyramid sinker here. No need for the Sputnik weights. Honestly, when it's this calm, you could get away with a two ounce, but I'm just gonna throw a three. I usually have a three on. Just starting out with some fish gum on this first one. Looks like there's quite a bit of ghost shrimp mounds, so after I get this one out, I am gonna pump some ghost shrimp. Y'all know that's my favorite bait. Although you've not seen me use much of it this year, I've been primarily fishing over in Orange Beach, and there's usually not ghost shrimp over there. First time the spring fishing down here in Fort Morgan and there is a ton of ghost shrimp mounds so rod number one check that drag remember guys always when you're surf fishing you never want your drag too tight one in case you hook something big you don't want it to end up pulling the hook or popping a knot or something uh, secondly like with the pompano you always want it to be able to uh, pull a little bit of line so all right, got the ghost shrimp pump. Get out here, see if we can get us a few. The nice thing about the calm surf like this is it makes it a whole lot easier to get these shrimp. It can be pretty tricky if it's rough out there. But we got pretty clear water, calm surf, so. Shouldn't be much of a problem today. As long as we can find a hole that's got one in it. There's one. All right, first shrimp of the morning. Go ahead and see if we can find us a few more. Then I'll show you how we hook it and get it on out there. There we go. That is a good one. Check out that one. I think it's fat. Well, there it is. Got two of them in that one, guys. Check that out. One hole, we got two shrimp. Heck yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and get a couple of these rigged up. I'll show you how to do it. All right. I got a single drop rig tied up. No float or bead, just a hook here. So with these ghost shrimp, I like to just hook them once through the head, spin them around, run through their tail. Then what you got to have is this miracle thread. Check your local tackle store. Some of them will have it. I believe hooked up over in Gold Shores has it. You can also get it on Amazon. 
And you are just gonna run that around that shrimp. And that is gonna help hold that thing on the hook. If you've ever messed with these before, you know they got super soft bodies. Uh, so if you don't do this, they will sling right off. Oh, we're getting ahead over here, guys. There we go, there we go. Fish on, guys, fish on. First fish of the morning. Heck yeah. This is on just the fish gun. Let's see if we got us a pompano. Oh, he's fighting like it. He's fighting like it. What's it gonna be, baby? Let's see if we can get a good one. It's the last weekend for the pomp stunt. So if I want any chance of winning something, I'm gonna have to find me some good fish today. I don't think this is any pomp stomp winner, but definitely feels like a pompano. It is a little blue runner or a hard tail. You definitely know it's almost summer when these start showing up. When the blue runners and the ladyfish start showing, I means water temps are getting up. Summer is here. We're gonna send this guy on his way. All right, unfortunately that wasn't a pompano, but it's all right, first fish of the morning. So you'll see how I got that on there. Again, you gotta have that miracle thread. Otherwise, you're gonna sling that shrimp off every time. Low tide right now, so weigh these things out just a little bit, try to get to some deeper water. Alright, I didn't have any luck finding sand fleas, so I'm going to go ahead and put another ghost shrimp on here. This is with an orange Salty's Pompano rig. A lot of times when it's this calm out, it can be tough to find those sand fleas because all those waves aren't kicking them up and stirring everything up out there, so it can be a little tricky, but I'm just going to go ahead and tie on this ghost shrimp so I can get this third rod out here. All right, something definitely just hit this one that time. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, man, good luck. Let's see what we got on this one. Definitely something there. Doesn't feel very pompy, though. All right, he's getting some head shakes now. See if we can keep him on there. Might be another blue runner. Hopefully not. I need to find some pompano. It's fighting better the closer I get him up here to the beach. It is another blue runner. Some good offshore bait, but not what I'm looking for today. It's nice when the weather warms up down here, but when the surf gets this warm, we start getting these blue runners, ladyfish, stuff like that makes fishing for pompano a little tougher you gotta weed through all those guys just to find the good fish so but that's part of it yeah good fish on here guys good fish on here this may be the pompano we've been looking for it hit a lot harder than them blue runners have been hitting uh did he get off or is he swimming in oh no I think he may have gotten off, guys. Nope, 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 there he is. There he is. He was just swimming in with me the whole time. Started to fight when we got to the breakers. Spanish Mac. No wonder he hit hard. Y'all check that out, guys. Nice Spanish from the beach. A lot of times these guys will tear your rigs up. They got those sharp teeth. I'm gonna keep this guy. Love some good Spanish. Bleed them out. Turn around and my line was completely slack. Something definitely hit it and swam in. Not sure if I still got something on here or not. Oh, we got a big hit down here too. Oh, doubled up guys. We're doubled up. I got fish on both of them. Holy crap. Oh, this feels like a good fish on this one too. 
I think I still got fish on both of them. Definitely got one on this. This feels pompy too, baby. Come on. What we got, what we got? Oh! Oh, he's fighting, he's fighting. Pompano. Heck yeah. Pompano number one for the day. We'll go over here and check this other rod. See if I still got a fish on here. Oh, this is crazy, guys. Getting doubled up. Hopefully the bite's starting to pick up now. This one may have gotten off. Yeah. That fish got off, that's all right. We got the pump, the one we're after. All right. That is what we're here for. It's no pump stomp winter, but it'll eat. I am gonna go ahead and bleed this guy, get him in the cooler too. All right, you don't have to bleed your pompano, but anytime you can bleed a fish, it just makes the meat that much better, that much cleaner. So, I got no lines in the water now. Still got fish gum on this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it back out there first. Then I need to get some more ghost shrimp. We'll get those rods back out. Seems like the bite's gonna get hot for us now. That tide's pushing in. Oh, that line went way slack. So we've actually got something on this time. Oh yeah, definitely a fish this time. That line was almost in the water, completely slick. Let's see if we got another pump on here. We got a little bit of a fight. Be another pump. Oh yeah, that's a pump. That's a pump. Come on, get up. Oh, that is a freaking slab too. Nice pompano. Nice freaking pompano there. Woo! This rod just got freaking smoked. Holy crap. This fish might have gotten off. I don't know if I got that on camera at all, but something nailed it and was peeling drag. Pretty sure it's gone though. I don't know what that was, but it was definitely big. Yeah, something freaking smoked it. All right, get back to this pompano. There's a tank. He really didn't even fight that hard. It's a good fish though. All right guys, y'all check, check out that nice pump. It is a freaking tank. Really didn't even fight that hard. Wasn't sure what it was, but once he got to the beach, he really started fighting, saw the size of him. That's a nice fish right there. Definitely gonna get this one in the cooler. I do have a scale, I'm gonna weigh it, see what it is. It's definitely not gonna be a pump stomp winner or anything like that, but still a good size fish. We go grab that scale. All right, let's get a weight on this thing. Right at two and a half pounds. Not bad. I thought he was gonna be a little more than that. Not super thick. He is a long fish though. Still a nice one. All right, we got another fish on here, guys. This feels like a good one too. Just threw out a, a new piece of. Oh, come on! Just threw out a new piece of. Uh, I can't think. Just threw out a new piece of ghost shrimp. This one got hit good. That was definitely a pompano. Come on, baby. Now we just gotta keep him pinned. Oh yeah, that's a pomp. Saw him in the waves. Just gotta keep him pinned, keep him pinned. It's tough when you get in this shallow water with these waves, knocking that fish around. Easy to get that hook loose and pull the hook right out. Ah! Oh! Y'all see that? I don't know if y'all can see him in the water right there or not. That was crazy. Heck yeah. Pump number three. That's what I'm talking about, guys. That is a good one, too. That second one's still the biggest, but this is a nice size fish here. things are frisky this morning all right number three going in the box oh fish on fish on here we go guys i think hit it like a tank too 
Oh yeah, it's another pump swimming in the waves. I can see him swimming up here. Heck yeah, guys. His ghost shrimp has been doing work. Oh, get up, get up, get up. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Not too bad. That's a keeper. Oh, uh, definitely, yes sir. Wow. Yes, ma'am. All right, guys, hope y'all enjoyed that video. If you did, again, smash the thumbs up button. Helps a lot. If you want to see or learn any more about making a ghost shrimp pump or how to get those ghost shrimp, I'm going to have both of those videos linked here at the end of this. So y'all make sure to check out those two videos. You can make your own ghost shrimp pump from home as well as see how I go out and get them. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and head out. Hope y'all enjoyed that video. Until next time, y'all take care.